Hey guys, I'm Cody at Urbine Past Life Pro, and for this Qdo tutorial, I thought we'd take a look at this feature. I knew I'd get to it at some point. DOF, or Depth of Field, in the latest public Qdo shader, this one being the Qdo V6.0.82 Beta Ultra. Alrighty, let's begin! First, have the Qdo shader unzipped and ready to work with on the desktop. Access the folder, access the shaders folder, and locate final.fsh. Using Notepad++, open it up. From here, scroll down to line 22. By default, DOF is disabled. So, let's turn it back on. Replace false with true. Now, if you were to go back into Minecraft after this change, you'll find the depth of field is active. But before we go, how about I show you how to decrease or increase the intensity of the DOF? Move down to line 159. This value on the end is what determines our blur factor. Larger numbers increase the blurring, whereas smaller numbers decrease it. My preference generally changes when I actually do use DOF, so for now, I'm going to leave it as is. Save, and let's check this out in Minecraft. As with all my Qtus shader tutorials, versions in time will change, so if you have any questions, then I'd be happy to help you out in the comments section down below. If this cue to shader tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys!